So, so my initial sperm uh, count was literally zero. It was zero across the board on everything. I was completely sterile. <laughs> it was infertile. Yeah, it was. I, I and it's too bad I didn't know that sooner because I've been, you know, thinking I was the pullout king. But. Um, <laughs> Did I did I tell you about the time that somebody mistaked me for yeah, you? Yeah, you told me. <laughs> yeah, I I've, I didn't understand what was going on at at the time uh, until he at, he was like he told me you know so I owe you this much right and I was like yeah <laughs> yeah sure <laughs> and then and then but this was like years ago and, I, and then I remember looking around I remember looking in your description box and it uh-huh. said those prices and I was like. That's who he thought I was. <laughs> I, was like, uh, well, I mean, it was a so stupid. How, did, how it, the hell did he end up with you then? I don't like, know. I because... don't know. He, he, I don't know. He, but he knew my name and mm-hmm. somehow he just must have gotten our videos confused or something. But I mean, oh, it's, yeah. it, it was a very basic like growth hormone question that he wanted anyways. But okay. Um, yeah, it was <laughs> yeah, so I'm funny. Good. Take yeah. it. Yeah, you know, yeah, I I'm mean, happy to, happy to provide clients. Like, yeah. I, I usually do it like that because sometimes, you know, some people can't afford me now, right? So I just send them all over the place. I sure. go with Chase or sure. go with this. You know, if it's a homebrew question, they all go to you. Automatically. <laughs> yeah, automatically, man. Steve, what yeah. do you think about homebrewing MCTs? Ask the other bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. Ask, yeah. ask Chase. Wrong bald guy. So that's. You know, yeah, just, so that's how we kind of, you know, supply each other with income mm. because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I kind of priced myself out of the bodybuilding space sure. a while back just, just due to necessity, you know. It's oh, sure. Maximum. Dude, yesterday I had like two and a half hours. Yeah. Two and a half hours of calling. So. It's, well, yeah, it's, I mean, that's that's just it. Like with, with my personal training online, that's kind of how it went was it was taking too much mm-hmm. of my time away from everything else. So I just had to jack the prices up because it was just, yeah. you know, it's what you have to do to save your own time, you know, otherwise you get it swamped. Is. Yeah. yeah, it is. Hey, how's your fertility? We're kind of yeah. in the same boat now. I, right. I want to hear your story because I'm, I'm, I literally did my last injection of test today. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so I give mean, me the lowdown of what it's, how's it been going for the last couple of well, months? Well, yeah. So I haven't been, I haven't been on, God, I can't remember when my last like steroid injection was. It was when you were 25. <laughs> Right, right, right. No, yeah, no. Yeah, I've been adding all this stuff. No, I, my la- I stopped testosterone in like August or September uh, last year. Uh, everything. And so the only things I have kept in was growth hormone. That's it. Uh, and carnitine. But um, yeah, yeah got to gotta keep that. Um, but yeah, so like my last like steroid injection was in like August. I got my first sperm test done in September, uh, my fertility test in September. And like, I'd never taken a break from anything ever in, in uh, over a decade. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, yeah, um, it was the same when I first time I came off. Yeah. That, yeah. And then the first time coming off, man, it's, it takes forever. Yeah. Yeah. So, so my initial sperm uh, count was literally zero. It was zero across the board on everything. I was completely sterile. <laughs> it was infertile. Yeah, it was. I, I, and it's too bad I didn't know that sooner because I've been, you know, thinking I was the pullout king. But um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't know. I'm like, I'm amazing <laughs> you at this. Didn't know to do Don't worry. Well. I'm good. I'm the king. <laughs> but turns out oh, I didn't have to at all. Pu- <laughs> yeah, you're, out. you're like, man, I shouldn't have done that. You know? Fuck, oh, man. What was I Tra- doing? Traumatized. Yeah. So everything was zero across the board. Um, wow. And, uh, well, so I was on test till August and I started HCG at, at that pot, three months before that. So I was doing HCG three months before that, got my sperm test in September, everything came back zero. And I was like, okay, I got it. I'm, I'm going to take a little more action. So I added in FSH at 75 IUs on the off days that I wasn't taking HCG at 2000 IUs and did that. Uh, with no testosterone injections, doing that from September to December, that brought me up to nine million. Uh, okay, good. Yeah, nine million per milliliter, and uh, and so I was like, well, okay, I guess it's working. You know, I'll just keep continuing. So, um, literally, just got another sperm test done uh, this week, and it came back at twelve million. So it's it's slowly, slowly. moving its way up. 
Yeah. So what, what I noticed when I came off for the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, like in the beginning, it kind of hovers around 20. I always have 20, right? Yeah. And when I take, don't take HCG mm -hmm. because I haven't used train in years. So maybe that, that helped. Um, so I started at 20, 22, and then it slowly went up and then it kind of went parabolic, like the Bitcoin chart. Oh, yeah. You know, so at the end, I ended up at 180 million. And wow. that was without any fertility medications. That's yeah. Easy. But I think... Like when you look at fertility, it, it, it's so related to oxidative stress mm -hmm. or, or antioxidant status. So I was, you know, running taurine and vitamin E and selenium and all that stuff, all that testicle health stuff. So I just, I just added some of that in, yeah. 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 So, so I think it, it really helped me that I was running that continuously for all these years, mm -hmm. um, you know, to help with testicular health. Sure. And, and, and then after the last cycle, I added in a carnitine injectable, right? Yeah. And then injectable glutathione, which helps with motility, very high mm -hmm. antioxidant. And I've been on HCG the entire time. Yeah. Um, so I'll do more fertility check this Sunday. And then, uh, so my no fap streak is over. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I have to donate myself. Yeah, it's like, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then hopefully I, I'm in a good starting point. Um, yeah, but I, I, you know, it will still take a while before you get into like the multi millions, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I, I've, I've been looking into enclomiphene. Mm -hmm. What do you, what do you think about adding something in? like that, like at a 12.5 milligram dose. I would do 25. You would do 25? Yeah. yeah, 25. So that seems to be like the pharmaceutical dose that they prescribe yeah. nowadays through the compounding pharmacy, even though technically enclomiphene is not FDA approved yet, yeah. or there's no pharmaceutical brand out there. Mm -hmm. um, of course, you don't get the negative side effects that you would get from Clomid because it's only one of the stereoisomers. Yeah. And I, I think that's quite potent, you know, it's... Um, I would add that in, you know, if, if my fertility doesn't go up and then you have continuous LH and FSH secretion. Yeah. I, it, it, is that is that enough? You know, you, you probably don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, it's mostly over time, you know, over like three months, six months, nine months. Yeah. So on, on 75 I use of FSH, like looking at my blood work, like it puts me like at the bottom end of the FSH range. Yeah, with that. If so. you inject like right before, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Fuck!" Like yeah. that's 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 not a. That, that, I mean, it's not, like it's gonna probably gonna get me to you know twelve, maybe maybe twenty million, so maybe. But do you did you do that sub Q or I am? I do it sub Q. Is that okay? So what no, that that's totally fine. Like it, it's in the body, it's fine. Yeah. For serum concentrations, it's same as a growth hormone test, right? Mm. You know, two, 10 IUs intramuscular. Sure. And then your your GH goes to what thirty three or thirty nanograms mm -hmm. per milliliter, right? Right, the three Something times like over the range. Okay, mm -hmm. but that's ten units. That's five times what you produce. Right. If you if you do two IU's IV, it goes to a hundred. Yeah. <laughs> nanograms per milliliter, mm -hmm. right? So that's that's like then you really know that's legit. That's legit. Yeah. So what I what I think I'm going to do is when I have the the recombinant LH and FSH, I'm going to do like a low dose IV and then test my serum values five minutes later. Yeah. See how high it is because I want to like all the fertility protocols are like 75 to 150 IUs, right? Yeah. I, I'm not sure if that's enough because you're doing thousands of IUs of HCG. Yeah. And only a couple IUs of sure, yeah, uh, HMG, you know? Yeah. Cause I'm 2000 HCG every other day. And then on the end, you know, opposite days at 75 and, that's what I was saying was like, man, shit, this has only put me at the bottom end of the FSH range, like, mm -hmm. and to run 150, like this shit is expensive as it is, you know, it's, it's fucking yeah, costly. And, he, and even when our mutual good friend. Right. Uh, from, from, Tur from Turkey. Our Turkey friend. Generous. Yeah, it, it's yeah. still, yeah, it's still costly. It's so still, I was just like, adds up. Yeah. fuck. So, uh, so, so yeah, so enclomiphene would be a very good solution. Just to kind of like a little bit of basal LH and FSH secretion. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you've been running gear for a decade. Mm -hmm. you know, your, my LH and FSH went up to like two or three. Yeah. And I was off for nine months. Yeah. And that's that's not a lot. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and then I got my testosterone up with some testosterone boosters and stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, even then you get like two or three continuously. Is that enough? Yeah. No, not now. Yeah. One of my cats. They want attention. So I'm not really sure. I think you're just going to have to do blood work and keep trying. If you get enclomiphene, is it going to be like self-compounded or you get it somewhere from one of the sources? Um, no, it'd be from 
one of the sources, one of one of uh, one of our friends over at Amino our- Asylum. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll, well, I'm not sure what what oil they use in their liquids. So. Oh yeah. I would want to go with something like tablets. I prefer that. Yeah, it's that like was the only these, thing. Yeah. I I, I like did see these, some tablet sources, so I, I'm mm-hmm. gonna like place an order with them, and then I mean the amino asylum stuff will get in quick. So. Yeah. Yeah, because there. it's domestic. Yeah. It goes very fast. Yeah. Yeah, like I, I've been doing so much research on fertility and basically everything is hor- horrible for your fertility. Mm-hmm. Um, so I stopped and I stopped the modafinil and then I fell asleep for like two weeks straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been running that for such a long time. And then you can't run this, you can't run that. And then, you know, some things there's no ne- there's no evidence that it's negative for your fertility. Yeah. But then there's also no evidence that it's good for fertility or doesn't negatively affect your fertility. Right. It doesn't prove that it's okay to use. So you're running a little bit of a risk there. Yeah. In that sense. So it's I think I'm just gonna go to HCG HMG mm-hmm. for two or three months mm-hmm. and then and then maybe in clomiphene at one point and then switch to uh recombinant LH, recombinant FSH to really, you know. Boost yeah. it up, yeah. But, yeah. Hopefully, yeah, somewhere, hopefully, somewhere along the way, you succeed and you don't have to go yeah. very much longer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. But I'll, I'll shrink for sure. You know? e- yeah, it's, 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 it's been, uh, it's, it's been, it's been interesting for sure. I mean, I, I'm, I'm two forty now, but uh, yeah. you know, it's definitely not uh, what I would expect to be at two forty as far as like how lean oh, yeah. I would be. You, you know, you everything. Well, now. yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's like, I've maintained a little bit of shoulder and traps, but it's like everything Uh, else is just so deflated that it's just, yeah. Yeah. So anyways, I mean, I'm spending my time dieting now anyway. So you're, you're 16 weeks out to your holiday. Where are you going? Or is that like, yeah, no, yeah. We're going to, uh, Greece actually. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We, we, so we were supposed to go on a vacation in December for our one year wedding anniversary, but had to cancel it because I got sick, and uh, mm. so we're kind of making up for it once. Because uh, my wife's a teacher, so once she's done with school for the year, then yeah, we're gonna head off to Greece. Oh, so, so you're still bound to those school holidays? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. So my, that my that, mom was, a, yeah, my mom was a school teacher until she retired. So she was bound to, to the school holidays her entire life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. now she's like, ah, oh, free. She's yeah. just going, she's traveling a lot. Yeah. yeah. So we were like initially thinking like spring break, we could go, but then it was kind of like, eh, it'll probably be crazy with like other like college kids and stuff going out there or whatever. Yeah. So, so yeah. when you go to Greece, it's full with Europeans. Yeah. During that time. Yeah, yeah. Because all the, all the guys from, they either go to Greece or Spain, you know, or Italy maybe, but Italy is a little bit more expensive for some mm-hmm. people. And, uh, and then you're, you'll meet all these people from Holland and Germany and the UK and. It's interesting. Like yeah. You can just get ready for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, otherwise you fly over to Turkey. It's not that far. You, know, you can, you know, do some shopping for your next cycle. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. That would be, uh, that, I don't know how much the wife would like that. But <laughs> no, no, no. She's <laughs> She'd just be going like, to a day trip. You know, I'm going to go to day trip to Instagram. Yeah, what do you want to see? I want to go it. shopping at the pharmacy. <laughs> at the pharmacy. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, man. Funny. It would be great, man. Yeah, it would be great. Yeah. So how how long do you think you're gonna need for uh, for before your wife is pregnant? I mean, it, you know, because I, I, I've talking to people, I've seen, you know, uh, other people say they've succeeded at like nine million. So it's like, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, it would be nice, uh, you know, to to get it done before then. But um, I don't know. I, I I keep telling her like I, I would just don't put too much, you know, hope into it until we're like back in the normal ranges, you know? Right. So, yeah, it takes time. I think you need it. It's mostly the motility and morphology. Mm -hmm. You know, so you need like, you know, very high percentage. You will never get a hundred percent on those. Yeah. uh, Because there's just, you know, morphology and motility is never going to be a hundred. For sure. And then do some, if you can do some additional tests on, on how, if there's any defects, you know, if the heads are weird, weirdly shaped, because mm-hmm. then they can penetrate the egg. Sure. And if there's any DNA fragmentation, if if you really can't get pregnant, uh, pregnant because and if that everything might be fine, but if there's DNA fragmentation within mm-hmm. the semen itself, and that's due to oxidative stress. Yeah. 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 And then you, 
basically have to make it all the antioxidants and stop training because <laughs> training is yeah training causes oxidative stress Shit. <laughs> yeah i know that's 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 the hard part then you really go crazy yeah that would be rough Could like take training a... to failure it's it's like yeah yeah training to failure on steroids is like the most oxidative thing you can right do as an athlete. that's true yeah yeah no i just i just added in like selenium and uh mm -hmm. folate and uh, uh d aspartic acid and yeah um i don't know do you do any injectable glutathione iv or intramuscular not yet that that i haven't gotten that yet but get yeah. that get yeah. that like uh, 1800 milligrams once or twice per week so that's you have to do that iv because it's impossible to do intramuscular because it's 600 milligrams for four ml usually or yeah. at least the pharmaceutical ones oh, from yeah. bayer that i use yeah and then you need to do like 12 ml to get 1800 milligrams and then oh man that's that's a nightmare yeah yeah it's a nightmare but you can do like a slow push at home so you don't you just get like at a a very long 30 uh, gauge needle and you just get a 50 mil syringe and just put it in or butterfly needle with a little straw a little plastic straw and just do a slow push that's a lot so you don't have to get the whole kit yeah yeah because it's it's what is it four mil 12 mil yeah 12 fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I do I do like half a half a liter every week I was gonna, yeah I, wow NAD plus I mean that'll uh, help I mean yeah Fuck. I, I mean, because yeah, you were saying, I didn't realize it was going to be 12. Yeah, that's a lot. Because uh, I was like, I mean, I've done four IV, four milliliters IV with uh, carnitine and ephedrine. But... Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so but... funny. You sent me that box of ephedrine, right? Yeah. I'm like, oh, man, that's like... You can't even use it now. It's a huge box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's a lot. If yeah. I if I have that box here, I would go to jail because it's so illegal. Is it really? If the, yeah, yeah, in Thailand it's they, they use it to make uh, the yaba, which is the crazy drugs. Oh yeah. It's methamphetamine. I, guess that's true. I mean it probably is illegal here too. I mean most everything I have is illegal. So No bro bro <laughs> <laughs> Well bronchi. They, yeah. they schedule yeah, bronchite, right? But they schedule yeah. it as a cocaine and, and LSD and all these drugs, they schedule it the same. So mm. anything like Adderall or ephedrine, that's a no go here. <laughs> Damn. Sucks. Yeah. 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 It sucks. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Huh. It is what it is. Yeah, well yeah. I have it I have it ready to go for when I'm uh, ready to get really shredded. <laughs> so the, for the After. first two lines you see, you're like, you got your ejection ready, right? <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> first two <laughs> lines. Too. Yeah, yeah. Me That's too, right. man. When my wife says she's pregnant, you know, I'm, yep. I'm just going to, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go back. Go nuts. Well, yeah, because yeah, we got to be jacked for the Olympia. Up. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully I can listen. At how how long do we have? Because it's like in November, right? November. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine months. Nine months. We might be oh, having man. kids by then. Yeah, we might be having like a little daddy party. We do. <laughs> right, we can just we can just wear them, wear them there. Yeah, yeah, little shirts, you know, proud dads, something yeah. like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, but you're gonna come this year, right? 